Alright folks, welcome back to another episode of East Coast NI Boating and Fishing So, I'm out today testing my new boat The Hallway of T35 Aluminium floor with the 20 horse Tahatsu EFI outboard on the back So, as you can see We have the weather We have the water And We have the boat So, these are my additions, comes a standard with the seat, I bought these on Amazon, two rod holders, a DIY seat box, pad it on the top, floor mat, non-slip, and the fuel tanks just below the seat, I have my anchor, the anchor and off, or if anything goes wrong, I anchor off and call for help. all set up and we're ready to go so today we're going six miles out to the maidens we're going to see how it performs we're going to do some fishing and I'll be joined by a fellow subber Ryan Ferris on the home wave T38 ie3 there's my luncheon waves currently submerged I'll get them up that's always a mistake people make whenever they're head off and on their journeys, I forget to lift their wheels, I've done it loads of times myself. So, let's go. There's Ryan Ferris, Captain Hallway of T38 today. The standby is the RNLI. Just in case us boys get into a bit of trouble, you know. That's how popular we are. There he goes. 25 horsepower Yamaha. So, here we go, plenty of floor space, I'm on my nice padded seat, everything's in there from my tackle, mobile phone, spare ropes, dock ties, everything you would really need. Excuse me. Do you have a permit? Yes. Uh, sorry, did I go to a permit? No. no. Maybe it's in your car sitting still, is it? I think it's actually Ah, yes, me too. Well, myself and Ryan are just after doing a couple of speed tests there, and the home wave T35 goes a maximum of 25 miles per hour with a 20 horse. Tahatsu. I'm delighted. Absolutely delighted. Um, consistent 22, 23, flashes of 24 with two people. So that's great as well. Very sturdy, great turning abilities. The prop's not coming out of the water, there's no splashing. It's just really strong, really tight, and great fun. So delighted. So we're going to go a rip now. Six miles out to the maidens. And we're about to leave Larne, Antrim Coast, and search for some big fish. Woo! 
Well, we have pretty much arrived at the Maidens, six miles out. This is the West Maiden, and that's the East. The East, fully operational lighthouse. Beautiful. Well, lines in the water, jigging for Pollock. We'll see how it goes. But the conditions today are perfect, they're lovely. The tide's right out at the moment, which isn't ideal, but the tide will come in, hopefully bring in a few fish, and um, maybe we'll get rid of these seals that are surrounding us as well. So, fingers crossed. The Maidens here is very prolific when it comes to fishing, especially when the tide is fully in, going out. The fish seem to go on the feed then as well, and um, it's great sport, it's, it's constant, you know, good pollock, good coalies, chance of a cod, and um, there's taupe and there's skate in these areas as well. Out there maybe about two, three hundred yards, you've got a couple of holes around a hundred feet deep. And that's where they are, but we're not fishing for them because we're not rigged up for them. We're just fishing for pollock today, and we're hoping to get one for the pan. A wee bit of cooking. And a nice tasty dinner. Yes! And we're in. Yep. What a catch. I think Ryan's on the lucky boat today. Woo! Yes, we're in. We're in. Nicely hooked in the side of the lip. Mm. Nice pollock. Woo! Fish on! Come on. Hitler's country. Lovely. Nice fish. Cracker. That's going to the pot. Keep that one. What was the experience? 30 mile an hour, eh? 30 mile an hour. Unreal. And there she is. Top speed, 25 miles per hour. Well, folks, that's us finished. Back on the slip, back on the trailer. 
and I have to say, um, delighted. Delighted with the boat. Delighted with the performance, how it handled. And um, yeah, this is probably my third boat now. Third inflatable boat and um, progressed up heavier and heavier each time. And I've just found that the more weight you have in the boat, the better the performance on the water. And the home wave by far is the most superior boat I have owned compared to XL Vanguard, um, Quicksilver, 3 meter air deck, and then a 2.7 wooden floor slatted deck. So, yeah, delighted. So, um, then we go home, get the engine flushed, get the boat cleaned, get the cover on, do all the necessaries and um, have a nice bit of pollock for dinner. All right, folks, that's us back at the house. The engine's been flushed, the boat's been cleaned, and I'm absolutely exhausted. I've been awake this morning since 6.30. Um, up early doors, getting prepared. We probably didn't hit the water until around, say, half 10, 11 o'clock. And we fished around the bay, messed about on the boat, done a wee bit of testing. Went to the Maidens, as you've seen. It's a beautiful place. There's loads of seals, loads of bird life, and lots of good pollock as well. Good fun. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, there will be more of the T35 coming over the next coming weeks, months, because I know on YouTube, Instagram, there isn't really a lot of information there regarding the T35. So, I want to home in on, on that and get that sort of up for everybody and um, hopefully it'll help a lot of people out on their next boat. So, just one last look around then. Luncheon wheels are fantastic. They work very well. Heavy duty. Rod holders were a great success. I really like these because you can literally just lift them up and turn them them back into place and you can adjust obviously the angle of the holder to trawl out the sides you know so very impressed 13 to 14 pound on Amazon I bought the two I like to keep the trailer sitting up like this because it means all of the water can drain out and it's nice and dry So once again folks, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you wish, I'll try my best to get back to you and um, say I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks very much, it was great fun.